This is the M2S4 transmission that I was telling you guys about. I have no idea what the history of it. So hopefully when I, uh, when I open it, all the gears and the synchros is okay. But as far as like the brass synchro, I, I got one. I got a new one, a rebuilt kit with all the bearings. What I'm hoping for is the, uh, the gears that's okay. Hopefully it doesn't whine or anything, but I'll find out. Anyway, I'm gonna clean it up. It sure is a lot better than what it was. It sure is a lot better than what it was before. I kind of chose to be in this area now, just kind of uh, change my uh, scenery here a little bit. This is where the place uh, the birds sing and the flowers bloom, as you can see. Got tired of the uh, scenery inside the garage, so I might as well just use this area. Let me show you from a distance where I'm at. I'm way tucked into that corner, like so. No birds sing. Somehow, I guess they went on strike. Anyway, first of order, removing this is, of course, this one here, this is the one secu uh, securing the uh, reverse uh, shaft gear, that one. This one here for the top, the plug, where you're going to spread the uh, lock ring for the bearings. And this will be, you'll be able to uh, remove the top housing, the differential housing. Without that, you, well, you're screwed if you, if you can't spread the, uh, the lock ring. And of course, all the flange bolts, 12 millimeter. And then when it comes down here, this is the remaining, uh, there's two uh, long uh, bolts that hold this housing, the rear housing. It's 14 millimeter. And of course, this one here, this your sifter uh, assembly cover. So uh, there's a modif mo you can do a modification or a mod on this transmission if you want a little bit of, uh, you know, how you, your shifter will return to neutral. Uh, it'll give you a little bit of a tension, you know, it'll make it stiffer. But you can, uh, once I open this, I'll show you the spring. I think it's M something, I can't remember what the, the name of the uh, company that makes them. And of course, the reverse switch, take that off. And this one, you don't have to, it's up to you since I'm, uh, no, I don't really have to remove this. Yeah, this is for the uh, vehicle speed sensor, but we'll see. But to separate these two housing apart, like I said, latch bolt, this bolt for the reverse, plug, and this. Okay, let's get to it. Uh, I would not recommend you're using a, uh, an impact to remove the flange bolts. Just break it first. That way, this is, remember, this is like a 25 something plus years old uh, transmission, aluminum. And believe me, you don't want to be uh, changing a, a helicoil or something. It's, it's not that bad to change it, but if you can avoid replacing one, it's better to break it first. And that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to break it first. All the tools that, uh, that we need, nothing special. This uh, extension, an Allen wrench. Well, I failed to mention that there's an Allen, Allen bolt right there. I don't need. You don't really have to uh, take it out. You just back it out till you get the mechanism, uh, the selector uh, mechanism removed. But, I'll show you once, once we get to that part, once I open this uh, cover. A hammer, uh, 10, 14, and a 12 millimeter. Just a basic uh, tooling, nothing special. You gotta break him first. Now, anyone, anyone can, can do this. The first time I, I, I did this, my, uh, I got lucky when I uh, picked up a uh, M2B4 transmission, the one that has a OEM LSD at the junkyard. I didn't, uh, I didn't know any better. I just never opened a transmission before. And uh, I've asked around, if there's anything that you can do as far as like uh, rebuilding the transmission, these two uh, caps need to be removed. What's housed in there is the uh, retention spring. It's what makes it uh, uh, put some tension on the uh, forks. There's a little uh, ball in there that rides on the uh, forks on the shaft. Tell me it's easy. It's not, there's really nothing you can do on the uh, manual transmission. Just open it and then if you see anything broken or just change it. Change something that's broken, he said, and you find nothing. Put it back in. But I was so scared at the time. What I did is uh, I didn't even bother opening it. I put it on my car, the Snow White, and later I know I found out that uh, there's no second gear. And that's how I was forced to open this thing. And from there, download the maintenance manual at, uh, from the internet, and voila. So now, on top. I always mistaken these two. So, it's been a long time. I don't know which is which. Sometimes I end up opening both of them. But I think uh, this one, oh, what do you know? It's right there. Right there, there's a the lock that you have to spread. Break all the... That's in bolts, and then I'll just be cruising alone afterwards. The bracket, make sure that the, this bracket for grounding uh, the wires, just make sure you just put it back in the right location. I don't know if you could uh, put it any other way, so I think it can go the one way. And just put it on the, uh, on the box. So if, once everything is all loosened up, then it's far away. You can do pretty much like do whatever you want. I'm trying to move out of there, from there, out here, because I need uh, more space. And of course, when you do this, make sure that you drain the oil. Don't forget. <laughs> and since I already know what bolts or uh, hardware goes where, I, I just put it in, in one uh, container. But for a first timer, just make sure that uh, if you like, you can tag them or take a picture of it. That way, you know where to put things back in. Plus, there's always a uh, you can use a reference, you know, picture from the internet. That's no idea.
and always place the uh, when you put your tranny upside down, put on a piece of a uh, uh, a metal or a wood. That way, the shaft. Because once you put it upside down, it comes down the shaft. It's not pretty even with the uh, with the surface of the uh, the flanges of the transmission, the housing. It, it comes down. So what I'm removing now is the, uh, the retainer spring. There's that spring right there. You can buy this uh, if you want a little bit of tension. You can buy this spring from Speed Factory, and it has a uh, this uh, seal gasket, aluminum. Now the uh, it's still on there, the check wall. So if you have a uh, if you have to have a uh, a magnet, you can do something about me. I just give it a tap, and it comes up right here. This thing. So make sure you uh, you don't forget this one. I'm gonna put it on my uh, plastic over here. That way uh, I don't lose it. Especially out here on, uh, I'm on, a, I'm on the lawn, so it's easier to lose the parts. Okay. So this is my special. I'm gonna flip this, I'm gonna put this uh, sideways. I'm gonna lay it on. So now I'm ready to pop this. This is the lid. Now there's places where you could uh, just give it a, a pry right here. And it's only being held by uh, some ceiling. So there it is. This is the spring that I was telling you guys about. Right there. So that created tension. And so if you're running that uh, cable and it sends a, uh, well, it sends a tension, it, it, it will bring back your uh, shifter faster to neutral. I might just do that. This one has the, uh, I've been reusing them. I have no problem with it reusing. All I needed is just to uh, back it up with a screwdriver and give it a tap. Just enough, just enough for, for the uh, socket to go in. And then this one here, since it's made out of steel, I'll just go ahead and uh, give it a smack. Okay, there it is. And right here is the island bolt that you need to remove. <clears throat> Man, I right. put you over here. Looks like I'm gonna need some muscle here. So I just needed to uh, back it out. Just need to back it out. You don't have to uh, fully remove it. And then the shifter mechanism, just pull it right out. There you go. Okay. And now, I'm gonna put this on. So I'm gonna lose it. Right there. Well, this thing, you know, this shifter boots uh, see some days, so I'm gonna change that. And then there you go. Now I'm ready to have to separate them. Okay. Remember the lock? Right there. You just need to get a needle nose. There you go. And that's what it looked like. See how it's uh, spread apart? So you know that that shaft came down. Double check. Make sure you have no more bolts holding it. So if you ever try to separate this and you're out there smacking, smacking, and it will not separate, stop, and then recheck, make sure you get all the bolts. And then there's a couple of places where you could uh, insert your screwdriver just to pry it. This one right here. It's got a tab on there, right there. And me, myself, I like to just do a uh, I just give it a tap. Put one hand here, and then tap. Right okay. Why should you separate this thing apart? Sometimes, uh, yeah, sometimes this bearing will get stuck. It will stay on there. And you see this? Right by my finger right there? Okay. There's two in there. One is a uh, this big one here, and one is right there. It's almost at six o'clock. Right there. This lock, sometimes it's bearing, it stays on the housing. This lock will pull out this retainer, and that's where the other uh, lug is supposed to sit out right at the middle of it. Okay, so you, that's one thing I just have to do. Okay. Well, so far, it looks like first, second gear. This is first. Okay, let's start here. This is fifth gear. Fourth, third, second, and this is for reverse. And then this is for uh, first gear right here. This is a uh, one to two synchro. Right? Well, there you go. That's how you uh, disassemble an H22, uh, well, not H22, but a uh, prelude transmission, N2S4. It's, it's, it's similar. They're all the same, pretty much like all the same. So to, to fully take this apart, that will require to remove these two bolts and this assembly for a reverse, reverse gear. And you just pick it up like so by your hands and just take it up. 
pull out the whole assembly. And the washers will fall off. Fresh wash, well, spring washer will be the first one I'm going to do. So this is something that you have to watch for. But I was looking at it earlier. It looks, it looks okay. Uh, the bearing doesn't, it's not making any sounds. Compared to uh, what I have on my cord, that one really makes a sound. But something that I can replace the bearing like this one, since I got one already, I'll just go ahead and change it. And I'm just going to put it on, put all this gear on the table. Just line it up. I probably will not show how the reassembly, but what I'm focused on is just the, uh, the differential. Hopefully I can get the, uh, the preload and all that. This is the one I'm focused on. So far, the, uh, the synchro looks good. Uh, it's not not worn out or anything. I don't know if you guys can see, like, it's more like an arrow. It's not worn out or anything. Right there, the brass. Yeah. I think I'll just go ahead and... Uh, Uh, th this is your first time uh, disassembling one of these. Don't be scared. There's a lot of uh, tutorial on the on YouTube. Plus, you can download some uh, maintenance manual on the internet and web. Okay. Uh, I think I should uh, take this out. Uh, I'll get it. Now, when you put this back in, you can assemble it like this. Now even the forks, look at the silver stuff, yeah, you hardly see any uh, wear on there. So it looks like I got a good buy on this one. Yeah, usually you'll see uh, like a scalp marks and still have all that, uh, that is that the paint? Yeah, it looks like I got a good buy. It's the reverse. I think that's it. This collar is supposed to come off. Yeah. Okay, this one I'm gonna clean it up. See those holes? Those are for the oil. So I've got a shout out brake cleaner or something just to make sure that nothing is uh, plugged up. And I'll do some inspections on the synchro. The hub. Yeah, it looks like I got a good buy here. Look at those, it's fine. Yeah. I can, I can just go ahead and slap this thing back in. Yeah. Removing the uh, the gear for the uh, vehicle speed sensor. And going to put the bearings. 